Uh, in this video, I am going to give you a very broad overview about the Intel's uh, uh, the Tiger Lake Core i7-1165 G7 and the previous Ice Lake i7-1065 and G7 processors. Both of them are uh, for ultra light and thin uh, portable laptops and this this is going to launch in september 2nd and the key thing is the upgrade into the gpu uh, the processor also improves but not with a significant amount but the gpu is a big story so for the cpu the key thing it's still retaining the four core and the eight hyper threads but the process has been upgraded from 10 nanometer to 10 nanometer um, plus, we can say that this is a super thin process, some kind of gating control of this individual uh, silicon, and that, by using that, we get two advantages. We get a faster speed, and we possibly get lower power, uh, so the individual, the single core frequency, which is like limited to 4 gigahertz, can now go to 4.5 gigahertz. And if you run the benchmark, you see a kind of 15% improvement. A part of this has comes from this increased uh, uh, clock frequency. And there are two other areas where this improvement comes up. One is also this 8 MB cache has now been increased to 12 MB cache. And uh, the, the process itself has been, the processor design itself has been improved. So that will give us another 5% or so improvement. So in between all those three, four things, this optimization, execution optimization, we should see a improvement of like a 50 of the order of 15%, which is not great, but it's not bad as well. That's what, what we have been seeing historically in all the uh, upgrades in the Intel or its successive processors. GPU on the other hand is a big news. We now have the Intel's XC graphics, and instead of 64 EUs, we have 96 EUs, which is a 50% increase. Secondly, the, the clock frequency of these EUs increases from 1.1 to 1.60, 1.6 gigahertz, all this while maintaining this 15 watt uh, power envelope. What it means is if you just do the simple math of 1.5, multiplied by 1.5 you get a 2.25 or roughly uh, twice this improvement uh, part of this is also there's also an improvement into the individual executions units uh, optimization so we should see a uh, improvement of like uh, 2x compare in the um, tiger lake uh, tiger lake compared to the ice lake and that makes it a little bit competitive for example with respect to uh, Intel uh, AMD's Ryzen 7 4800U processor but uh, Intel is still behind in the processor it will need to do some catch up work here so in addition to the CPU and GPU we also get a better PCI Express 4.0 whether the devices are able to use it or not we will have to see it takes some time for all the peripherals to catch up with those uh, say offerings of like PCI Express 4.0 the earliest ones to take advantage of this are going to be the SSD drives um, and the faster and that should improve our uh, hard drive uh, uh, memory transfer rate. Uh, again we also have the support for LPDDR5 for the first time but again it will take some time for the memories to uh, catch up this speed but we should just in future we should start uh, seeing more system with LPDDR5. Uh, other big news are the Thunderbolt 4.0 and the USB 4.0. The speed ramps up to 40 gigabyte and gigabit per second, and that uh, is a substantial improvement over the previous Thunderbolt 3 or USB 3.0, uh, increasing the speed. But again, it will take some time for the, all the peripherals with USB 4.0 or Thunderbolt 4.0 to come in. But this is a very good, very broad overview of the Intel's Tiger Lake. Uh, these two processors um, and I think that moving forward it bridges the gap with respect to the Intel that I'll cover in another 
uh, videos but for now you can think of a some improvement in the processor and a substantial improvement in the GPU the GPU is catching up with AMD uh, and the processor is still a little behind but we will see it how it uh, develops thanks for taking a look